Hi, it's Kind of Text here with a video showing how to prepare Linux Mint 20 to build Linux from scratch. So the preparation details are from the Chapter 2.2 Host System Requirements part of the Linux from scratch book. In that chapter it shows um, the various packages that are required and what the minimal versions are of those packages to um, successfully be able to build Linux from scratch. And on a default Linux Mint installation, which is what I've got here, it's just booting, um, there's a few changes that need to be made to allow um, a successful build to meet the, those minimum host system requirements. So what I'll do is I'll go first of all to the um, Linux from scratch web page to get that part of the book up, chapter 2.2 and just click through to the manual and it's this part here, host system requirements, you can see these are all the packages you must have installed with the minimal versions and there's the script here that can be used to um, identify any that are missing quite quite easily. So I've actually got that script already um, on a partition um, because I'm doing several of these videos on several distributions so it's just a lot easier to um, mount that partition and run the script off the disk rather than keep on copying and pasting it. So I'll first of all become root and I'll just mount that partition and I'll run the script now and you can see there's a couple of things there where it's uh, lines there where it says command not found so what we'll do if we start at the top and just go through and see what things need to be changed you can see the first thing there's an error that the bin sh symlink does not point to bash. So I've found all those, you know, maybe a few ways of adjusting this. I've found the best way, the most reliable way is just to overwrite that symlink with a new symlink to bash. So you can use that, do that with ln, which is the link command, minus svf. S is for symlink, a soft link. Um, V is for both, and F is to force, um, you know, just to do the change without asking, without any sort of queries. So I want to link the program bin bash and create a link called bin sh. And you can see it's confirmed it's done that. So now if I rerun the script, you can see the error is gone now and it says that bin sh points to bin bash. So that's fine. So we'll just go through the other lines, see if there's any other obvious errors. So the next one we've got is G++. Um, and we've got another one, make info. And because G++ is not found, the compilation's failed. So let's install G++. We can do that with the apt command. apt install G++. And just press enter to accept the default. Of the, currently, the system's bang up to date, so um, there shouldn't be any problems with the versions at all. They should all meet the requirements that the Linux from Scratch book specifies. So just wait for that to finish installing. And that's done, so let's just rerun the script again and you can see now G++ it's got a version 9.3 installed and if we just go down yeah the compilation's okay so we've just got this one command not has not found make info now you might think you can do apt install make info well it won't work because make info is actually a program whereas apt deals with packages so we need to install the package that Make info is part of, and the package is called text info. 
So we'll install text info. You can see it's found it. Let it install. And then I'll rerun the script when it's finished installing. And you can see that's now updated. So just a quick look through again, just to make sure there's nothing been missed. Yep, that looks all fine to me. So that's that's all complete now. So this system is ready for compiling Linux from scratch. Next step would be to check the actual version numbers are greater than or equal to what's specified in the book, but I'm not going to show you that. And then you can carry on with the rest of the book. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please click the uh, thumbs up and like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already to hear um, about more of my videos that I'll do in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.